How many guns, how many pistols did uh, Jim Arnes go through on the show? Well, I've, I don't have all the documents, but I've documented seven. Mm -hmm. How uh, many of them do you have? I owned three, I sold two. What's uh, something like this valued at today? Well, the last one that was resold after I sold it, I understand brought 57,000. Welcome to Word on Weapons. My name is Rob Word, and we have a special show today because our guest is Mr. Al Frisch, who is a collector of movie guns. And he brought today Matt Dillon's gun. Let's hear it for Al Frisch. Yeah. Welcome, Al. So tell us about what you have here. Well, I've got a little preamble at, at how I acquired this stuff. Uh, Robert Peterson, Peterson Publishing, wanted to, and this was in 1998-99, wanted to have a firearms museum here like his automotive museum. Well, the Board of Supervisors and the City Council, being anti-firearm, said no, 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 and no again. So he thought if he bought the inventory of Stembridge, which had spent 50-some years on the Paramount lot, and they were the main supplier of firearms to the whole movie and TV industry. Anyway, so he thought if he bought those 12,000-odd guns, and he'd build a Hollywood wing, wing of the museum and they'd go for it. Well, they said no, no, and no again. So in that interim between him purchasing it and them telling him no finally, I was hired to go in, and fix the broken guns, identify noteworthy stuff um, for the museum, and essentially build the contents of a museum. Well, I was there six weeks. He came and looked at it, wasn't impressed because he was used to buying the, the best. I mean, he was a billionaire and he bought the very best in the way of firearms. And a lot of the stuff there was just movie stuff, you know, scopes with no lenses and rifles that had been screwed up. You know, hundreds and hundreds of busted guns. Anyway, uh, in that six weeks, I found him some six or 700 notable firearms. One of which was the, uh, the big walker that Maddie had in True Grit. Mm -hmm. uh, it, Phil Spangenberger had supplied me a great color photo, could not find that gun anywhere. And then I found it down the bottom of a lugger of busted, dismantled guns. And uh, it ultimately uh, went to the NRA, for, I think for close to $100,000 at auction. Anyway, so I was there after the six weeks when he traded it off to his agent who made me a small percentage partner. And that's how I acquired my several hundred guns. There were some 60 odd years worth of documents, the rental invoices with serial numbers of the leather as well as the guns and everything else. Was Matt Dillon's gun in that group? Yes, several of them were. Mm -hmm. um, which I in that six week period, I wasn't able to identify everything of course because <laughs> we ended up with 300 file boxes of documents of the receipts, the rental invoices. And to go through all of those and check all the inventory, none of it was computerized, so it wasn't easy. It was all by hand. Anyway, so I acquired a lot of stuff. This is one of two Festus guns. I've sold one. Um, it's a Colt 45 caliber, five and a half inch, um, made in the 1880s. Mm -hmm. And this was one of several Arness firearms uh, documented to his use actually later than this holster was used. You see this holster in, on a lot of the Dell comic book covers, mm -hmm. or the Gunsmoke uh, comic books, as well as there's a, a famous photo that's been around of uh, Matt, Chester, and Hoppy standing on the porch, or a porch, boardwalk, at Melody Ranch, where they filmed the first six, five, six years worth, you know, with the exteriors before they went down and built the street at CBS. Anyway, it's a 4440, seven and a half inch Colt. Um, later, uh, they went to the plastic stag grips. You remember the white ones with the black marks that virtually every TV program had one or two people using guns like that. They were made by Franzite. Roy Rogers told me he even switched to them because the good jigged horn grips would break and you couldn't replace them, they just weren't to be found, whereas $5 bought you a set of the Franzites, and so when he was doing his TV show, he was uh, using the Franzites on his, and he told me some days they may have to replace six grips, just depending on 
how strenuous, you know, lots of fights or whatever. How many guns, how many pistols did uh, Jim Arness go through on the show? Well, I've, I don't have all the documents, but I've documented seven. Mm -hmm. How uh, many of them do you have? I owned three, I sold two. What's uh, something like this valued at today? Well, the last one that was resold after I sold it, I understand brought 57,000, mm -hmm. something around there. Mm -hmm. um, plus the 15 or 20 percent that goes to the auctioneer. Thank you for being here, Al. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Rob Word. Thanks for watching A Word on Westerns. Each week we post a new episode, and all you have to do is subscribe right here. Click on this, you won't miss a one. Adios. Mm -hmm.